Hemodialysis is a miracle of modern medicine. The artificial kidney machine holds certain death at bay for America's 55,000 victims of end-stage renal disease or injury. But in its usual form, dialysis requires conventional water and power service. Travel of any kind is difficult for dialysis patients because they must dialyze three times each week for periods of up to five hours. Even moderate trips into the wilderness have heretofore been impossible. Until now. The great out of doors has been open to dialysis patients. It's called Dialysis in Wonderland. In the summer of 1979, a group of kidney patients joined in a daring experiment. Dialysis on the banks of the Colorado River in view of Arches National Park. The first group of patients accomplished two days of river running with a day of dialysis in between, made possible by an early form of the portable dialysis machine being developed at the University of Utah. Like all artificial kidneys, it is based upon the principle first used successfully during World War II by Dr. Willem Kulf, who now heads the University of Utah Division of Artificial Organs. From the beginning, Dr. Kulf has emphasized making life enjoyable, along with solving the technical problems of simulating human kidneys. This first trip used a section of the Colorado River accessible by highway so that the kidney machines and dialysate water could be brought in by truck. The trip was made cautiously, but it was a real river trip. It proved that dialysis can safely be accomplished in the field, and for the first time, it brought kidney patients face to face with white water. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, a series of successful trips to such locations as Lake Powell, Canyonlands, and Yellowstone turned dreams toward Mecca, Shangri-La, Nirvana, the Grand Canyon. Running the Grand entails more than 180 miles of river travel through one of the most profound wildernesses on the planet Earth. Everything you use, including dialysis equipment, must go along on the boats. The trip takes four days of river running, three days of dialysis camps, and an airlift out of the canyon by helicopter. Each dialysis patient is invited to bring along family and friends to share the experience of living outdoors for a week and sleeping under the stars. The guides and boatmen from Tour West know the river intimately, and experience has taught them the special considerations for meeting the needs of river rats who happen to be on dialysis. You'll eat like a king in the canyon. For example, lunch is a self-service sandwich bar that sets up in less than five minutes. Entrees are planned for low potassium, and in the hot weather, patients are advised to drink more than usual to prevent cramp dancing. Dialysis is accomplished at sites of incredible beauty, not like a unit or a clinic. With the outdoor beauty comes the hardships of heat and wind, but there is no compromise of medical cleanliness. In fact, the canyon compares favorably to hospitals, which are by definition repositories for illness. The medical team consists of a nephrologist, a registered nurse, and three medical technicians. The unique battery-operated kidney machine is called the WAC, wearable artificial kidney. Because of the need for a 20-gallon dialysate tank, it is not yet wearable in the sense that it can complete dialysis while the patient walks about, but the research goal is that someday it will. To illustrate the idea, a patient sometimes takes the WAC on a walk during dialysis in Wonderland. The dialysate water comes from the river itself, 
It is processed by a water softener or deionizer, two filters, and a heater. It is also monitored for salinity and purity. The extra days for dialysis create a bonus. Each patient has three extra half days for sightseeing, taking pictures, hiking, or just generally experiencing the canyon away from the confines of the boats. Each excursion through Grand Canyon includes stops at attractions along the way, side streams of extraordinary beauty like Havasu Creek and the Little Colorado give opportunities for photography and a swim in waters 20 degrees warmer than the mighty Colorado River. Grand Canyon is known for its rapids, but actually most of the time in the boat is spent in relatively calm water, basking in the sun and enjoying the scenery. When it does come to rapids, you have to respect even the names, like Upset, Crystal, Hermit, and Lava Falls that can, for a moment, swallow a 37-foot boat. The almost unbelievable buoyancy of the pontoon river boats turns rapids that terrified John Wesley Powell into fantastic roller coaster rides. out of the canyon is an adventure in itself. Suddenly you see the expanse of the canyon in a way that is not possible from the river. Looking down will be only the first time you will look back and contemplate the challenge. I ran the Grand Canyon.